Hi guys and welcome. Today we're going to be going over the basics of Google Slides. Let's get started. Okay, so the first step you need to do if you are using a MacBook or a laptop is to go to Google and click on the nine dots up by your profile picture and you'll be able to see the Google Apps and you want to click on Google Drive. Comes your drive and you can start a new Google Slides by clicking on the plus and new and you'll be able to see Google Slides there. Once it's loaded up, you'll be able to edit and format your Google Slides. Um, here you can put in a theme. So on the right hand side as you open up, you'll have lots of different themes and you can either Im even import your own from something like Slides Go or Slides Carnival. I'm gonna choose this one. Uh, and now I can uh, start editing, so I'm going to write the title, I might call this my report or something like that. And I'll put my name as well, so we know who is it by. Now if I want to add a new slide, I just need to right click and click new slide. And then I can start adding in information to my second slide, for example. If I don't like the layout, I can click at the top right here and I get all these different options with this slide's theme. So if I need two paragraphs or I need an end credits, I can click there. If I want to insert an image, I click at the top, I click insert, and then over insert, I can upload from my computer. I can even search from the web. And here I can search for anything that might be in my project, let's say animals, or I'm doing a report on animals. Here I like to add clip art to the end, so I get a more cartoony image. And I click on the image and click insert. And I can flip it around by dragging the corners there and resizing it. So I've added an image straight into my project, into my slides. And yeah, it's about animals. And I can type in the information just by clicking on the text box. I'm going to add one more. And that would be my end slide, for example. If I need to change my format of my text, I can just highlight it. And at the top, I've got the quick options where I can change the font and I can click the plus and minus by the number and that will change the font size I can click on it and it will change it to preset and I click on the A with the line and I can change the color or I can make it bold or underline it by clicking on the B, the U and the I for italics another cool thing is you can add in shapes here so if you click on the circle and the square you can add in shapes um, you can even add cool outs if you want to add some Diagrams to your image or to your presentation. I'll add this little speech box in, stretch it out to make it bigger, and uh, move the cool out there by clicking on the yellow one. And here I might say, you know, call it Did You Know box or something. Highlight again, I'm going to change the text to something else, make it nice and big. There you go. And if I want to change the color of the box or the cool out here, I just need to click on the paint bucket and it's got a grey underneath it and I can change that to a different colour I can change the border by clicking on the pen if I want to centre it at the moment it's to the left I need to close down the themes here or I can click on the three dots to get more options and then you should see uh, the alignment option like to the left and you just change that to centre uh, I can do the same with the text in the paragraph and I can even add in bullet points and uh, number points there as well. I just need to type it out, highlight my text, and then click at the top on my quick bar where the bullet points are and the numbers. One more thing I can do is add a link. So if I want to uh, redirect my audience to a new website, I can just type out my word here, so more information dash here, for example. And then I highlight the word I want to link, and then there's a link, little link option at the top. And here I can type in where that's going to go, either somewhere else in the presentation or horses.com, for example. So if someone clicks on there, it'll take them to the website where the information was found. That's pretty much it for the basics of Google Slides. Don't forget to give your presentation a title. It should come automatically from when as soon as you click it, but you can rename that to something else. And once you're ready to share that with your teacher, click the big yellow share button. And you can type in your friend's name or your teacher's names here. Your teacher's name should come up. Um, 
and you can also change the link so you can get the link sharing option so you can change it so um, if you click uh, where it says restricted change link to Oberlin International School and then you can copy that link and give that to your teacher as well and that's it let's see what it might look like if you're using an iPad so first thing you need to do is make sure you've got the drive app installed or you can search for drive if you already have make sure you're logged in and then you can click the plus option at the bottom right corner and you should be able to see Google Slides give your presentation a name it may ask you here to sign uh, to download Google Slides if you haven't got that installed so there are two separate apps on the iPad uh, once you give it a name you'll recognize this screen where you'll be able to edit and tap in there you can give it a title my report for example and maybe you want to add your name in there as well so if you want to change the theme you should need to click on the three dots in the top right corner and the second option down is change theme and then you should be able to choose from the list there or import your own I'm going to use the same one I used last time there we go and you can see the fonts change and the backgrounds change to change, add a new slide, in the bottom left corner I can see the new slide option, it's like a slide with a plus, and it gives me the layout there before I choose it. So I'll use the same information as last time, we'll just do information, and I'll add a new slide in from the bottom left, new slide, and there you go, slide 3 is there, and I can choose the two column layout, and we called this one animals. You should be able to see when you click on it that this bar pops up at the top with the bold italics, um, quick toolbar. And this is how we edit our text if we need to format it. And you can also tap on the A at the top right corner, the few lines next to it, and you get more options like the font option. So I can change the font option there. If I tap it again, I'll get the size. I can tap the arrow there. I have to do it manually. And I can change the text color as well as the highlight color there, a few options and some more colors at the bottom if you slow scroll down. Next up I'll add an image and I can delete this text box both by tapping it and then the black apple bar comes up and I can tap delete. Here I press the plus button at the top and then I can press images. I can't search from the web here so I need to get it from my photo library and I've got this picture of a cat here so I, I can save any image from the internet and then save it to my gallery and I can import that way stretch it around <coughs> and the same thing for um, information I can just type in the information there and, I'll sh and bullet points and number as well after that you can add in a link by typing out your information here and then you can and you can highlight the text and then you should get the black apple bar and you can press insert link then the insert link option comes and you can uh, type in your link there, uh, www.cats.com. You can also access this from the plus option, and you can add a link from the top there as well. Other things you can insert into a Google slide, if you tap that plus, you can add comments, text boxes, images, shapes, lines, tables, and links as well. If we add in a shape, we can see we've got shapes, arrows, callouts, you can even add equations as well. We're gonna go ahead and add in a callout, and we can scroll down and we can see we've got those uh, speech bubbles that we used on the Mac as well. I can resize that, reposition it, and I can type in here, did you know? And at the top you can see already um, my quick editing options, my quick formatting options, and I'm looking out for the paint bucket, and on the top right you can see I've got a paint bucket. And here I can change my colors around and for my background and my fill color and there's some other gradient options there as well and finally if you want to share this with your friends and your teacher press the person with the plus option at the top and you can quickly type in your friend's name there otherwise click on the three dots and you'll have the share and export option and here you can share by typing in your teacher's name or you can turn on link sharing and you'll be able to get, copy that link and paste that um, on Seesaw if you need to 
That's it from us. Take care and let us know if you have any questions. We'll see you soon. Cheers.